Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the show. Still basking in that new year energy. How's it going? Jason Carney here filming from home because we are staying safe amidst the Omicron pandemic situation that's happening across here in South Florida. I want to keep everyone safe. So here we are on the new digs. But up first today, Broski Cider Works is a locally and family owned cider bar founded by brothers Danny and David Redugo, whose goal is to create a cider culture right here in South Florida and treat every cider lover like they're a part of the family. The Broski family, and they've done just that. And now in 2022, they are taking their business to a new level and are being recognized for their hard work. I sat down with both Danny and David and talked cider and so much more. Danny, David Verdugo, the Broskis, the Broski Cider Brothers, welcome to Inside South Florida. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year, Jason. Happy to be here. Talk about cider, talk about Broski, and to celebrate the new year together. Absolutely. 2022 is going to be incredible. Congratulations is in order. You guys are one of 100 recipients of the Comcast Rise Investment Fund grant, helping businesses of color, marginalized groups do great work in the community. How does it feel? It's it's really a great blessing. You know, it's, it's awesome to not just get the grant, but be able to be introduced to the work of entrepreneurs and and just being able to have common common ground with everybody and be able to communicate with other people. Comcast has been a great tool for us. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, Broski, Cider Works, the name. Brothers Broski, I love it. How was the business born? Where did it come from? Yeah, so, I mean, the idea started back in 2014, 2015, around that time. Uh, I was finishing my PhD studies uh, I'm an engineer, that's my background. And I kind of picked it up as a hobby, like craft brewing and making craft beer at home. And we discovered cider by accident. It was, they, were, they gave us a cider and, and I tried it and I said, this is very unique. It was very much different than beer. Uh, so when I went back home, I started making some craft ciders and found out that they, I was getting really good at it. Uh, at the time, my brother Danny, he was working down here in South Florida with like a big distribution network of uh, spirits mm -hmm. and wines. And he would take some samples back and people started trying it and really liking the product. So at that point, we looked at each other and we said, you know what, let's 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 jump on board. Let's try to see if we can create a Florida style of cider and create a cidery in South Florida, that which was never done before. So in 2015, we opened. And as you mentioned, we are brothers. So that's where the name uh, Broski comes from, because, you know, Broski's is part yeah. of the brothers, part of the family. A PhD in civil engineering to calm the stress of what I would imagine is like an <laughs> intense course of study. You're like, you know what, I'm gonna make cider. How do you make cider? Um, essentially cider is a wine, uh, very much like a wine that you would buy a store made out of grapes. The only difference is that cider is made with apples instead of grapes. Very similar process in wine making. We start with the apple juice and then that ferments into alcohol and you get a very nice apple cider finish at the end is what you call it a cider. And then we use that to blend with tropical fruits that are familiar for our cultures, especially that we are, you know, Latinos, we bring all those tropical fruits from our home, like the passion fruit, pineapple, mango, and we ended up making a cider that is true to South Florida. Danny, you are the eyes and the ears for the brand. How does Broski Cider Works engage with the community? Yeah, so we're uh, we're pretty active in our in our social media handles. Uh, we like to do a lot of community events. We do we work with non for profits. Uh, we like to work with a lot of mom and pop restaurants, a lot of mom and pop stores. We do samples, tastings, events. So we really try to get our hands everywhere we can, and we really like the community that we've established down here in South Florida. Um, really grew a lot of cider drinkers here that that didn't know they had that option before. You know, it's a gluten free product. So it's, it's really nice and it gives people that didn't have a chance before to try something like this and they really enjoy it. David, where can we find Broski Cider Works online and pick up and pick up some of it? So you can find Broski Cider Works uh, locally in South Florida, all over bars and restaurants from Daytona all the way down to the Keys. Uh, you can also find a Broski in the Caribbean. So if you're out there having some fun, uh, look for a little bit of Broski to cool down. Um, and then soon enough <laughs> online, you'll be able to find Broski through our website at broskiciderworks.com. And we're also available at uh, major stores and retail as well. So you can find uh, Broski six packs at stores. In the tap room we have here, we're located in Pompano Beach, but we have a tap room where we do cider tastings that's open during the weekends. So it's a great, great opportunity for someone that is curious and wants to learn about cider. We'll teach you about cider. We'll let you know, let you sample. You can try what we make and you can taste what is now the best cider in the United States as of this year.